morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another Wombat Beginner Guide, where we're going to go ahead and talk about the brand new desktop app for Womplay. If you saw my video probably about a week ago now that you're familiar with Womplay, it's a way that you can go ahead and play web 2.0 and 3.0 games and earn both crypto and also NFTs. The NFTs are on the EOS blockchain and can be used mostly right now for Dungeon Masters and eventually Dungeon Worlds. Um, but the, it's, it's a neat way if you want to go ahead and try a number of different games, again, both Web 2.0 and Web 3.0, uh, and earn from it. So it's, it's, they have a lot of iOS apps, they have a lot of desktop and blockchain games on there. Uh, as of right now, or as of maybe a few weeks ago, the only way that you can go ahead and do WAM play is either through your browser, uh, which included a plugin, or you could do it on your iOS or Android phones. They have just released the desktop application version uh, to the public. I would recommend you go over to their Discord and go ahead and get the latest download. Uh, as of the time of this recording, they are still giving you uh, a reward for finding bugs within the game. I believe that will end mid to late May, so make sure you double check with the Discord to see if that, that promotion is still running. But I wanted to get this out there and make you aware of that, and so you can go ahead and jump in and, and check it out. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look. What you're going to do is you're going to download the app itself. Uh, it's going to pop up like this. You will have to either create a new Wombat wallet if you don't already have one, or if you already have one, you'll go ahead and have to restore your Wombat wallet so you can go ahead and actually use it with this. It's similar with everything they, everything they do. When you download the app, you need to do that. When you use the, the plugin for Google Chrome, you also needed to do it. So it's, it's a process you should be familiar with, and hopefully you have a backup of it. Um, but once you go ahead and do that process, this is the screen that's going to show up here, and it's 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 almost web browser like, uh, but it's specific to Womplay. So you you're in there, and most likely the first screen that you're going to go ahead and see is this. This is your wallet. Um, please be aware that as of the time of this recording, the the Wax uh, Cloud Wallet still does not connect correctly with the wallet within Womplay. I think they're going through the process of fixing that, but just make sure you're aware of that. So if you do stake uh, Wombat within your Wax Cloud wallet, uh, you're not going to get Prime automatically as a VIP. Uh, again, hopefully they are fixing that. You will also not see your, your balance in here because it's not showing as connected. Uh, but you're able to use your, your Wax Cloud wallet for some of the other features in here. So it's 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 still being worked on. It's still early uh, with this uh, application or desktop application drops. I, so something I just wanted to make sure that you're aware of. Uh, but let's go th ahead through the different sections in here just so you're familiar with it. Um, so you can go ahead and download it and use it yourself if that's what you choose to do so. Uh, this is the wallet. Um, inside the, the Wombat wallet, you have a lot of different features as far as tokens that you can go ahead and hold. Um, I don't have a lot in here right now. Mandix is the only thing. Usually when I get it in here, I go ahead and I, I take it somewhere else. Um, or I go ahead and focus on getting NFTs instead of the crypto within there because I, I still want to build up my EOS, uh, I guess my EOS NFTs for Dungeon, Dungeon Masters. So that's why you don't see a lot in here. Um, on the top here, you're going to see you can go ahead and update your profile. Uh, these are the tokens that I have available to this. You don't see any Wombat token again because it does not connect to my, my Wax Cloud wallet. I believe, and I, I, I confirmed this with a few people, it does work correctly with Anchor. You just have to go ahead and set it up there with your private keys. To go ahead and add a wallet to here, uh, for example, like I said, the, the Anchor wallet, you're going to want to go ahead and click on Edit Accounts. I'm not going to pop that up right now because it does show some other information in there that I don't necessarily want you to see. Um, so you go in there, you go ahead and you enter the, the, the keys to re restore it. It does give you the option to go ahead and create an account. Uh, but just be aware, if you create a new account and you're already playing Dungeon Masters, it does not transfer your levels or your progress within the game. Uh, so just be aware of that. That's why I have not done it yet. Uh, and I'm, I've, I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that they'll go ahead and resolve or, or be able to connect the Wax Cloud Wallet to this overall Wamplay app. All right, now that we have all that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about the other areas. 
The playground is also an area that's still technically being constructed. Uh, what this will be is this will be the area if you look at if you look at the website, it'll be this area. This is where you can do the daily quest. The the different uh, it gives you different categories as far as uh, details that that you're going to be able to use in order to earn NFTs or the crypto within games or the the WAM bucks that you can go ahead and eventually turn into the chest that's here. So this is something uh, that's not quite available yet. So you're still going to have to use either the the browser option or your iOS, but it will be available here in the future. Uh, so what they just say right now is go ahead to go to the Explorer, which is the bottom option here, which acts very much like a, a, a browser. And we'll actually go ahead and jump there just so I can show that to you. Um, so this is where you can go ahead and see the uh, Wombat approved applications uh, that will be available in the playground and give you different rewards. Um, you'll see a lot of familiar faces in here, especially if you're on the Wax blockchain. Uh, so you'll see there's things like there's Taco in here, there's Atomic Hub, there's Acryptia, there's Clash Doom, um, there's a lot of other ones, there's Dungeon Masters, obviously, and so forth. And I could I could name a whole bunch more on here, Alcor. Um, so there's a lot of different options on here, and these are really what what's approved. And you can go ahead and click on any of them, and it's going to go ahead and take you to the, the website itself. Uh, so it's just an easy, quick jump to show you, shows you some of the stuff that they have approved. Also, what's nice with this is they have some nice filtering on here. Uh, you can filter by category if you only want to take a look at games. Uh, you can go ahead and apply that, and that'll only show you the games that are available. If you want to go back here, show all, just click on that and apply. Or if you want to just do by blockchain, say you're only interested in the Wax blockchain, you can go ahead here and click on Wax, and it's going to go ahead and show you all the games that, that are approved through Wombat uh, and Womplay that are on the Wax blockchain. Um, you also have the option to go ahead and check out some of the other blockchains if you're not familiar with them, but you want to kind of learn about them. For example, I'm starting to get into Polygon more. Maybe I want to take a look at this, see if there's any recommendations as far as Polygon games go. So I can go ahead and do just did the Polygon filter, do the game filter, and take a look at some of these that are available. I'm not saying I, I will, uh, but at least gives you an option uh, to, to go ahead and narrow it down the blockchains and, and the, the type of game it is. Some of the other tabs that are on here also is it's a convenient way to get to Dungeon Master. Instead of playing in your browser, you can go ahead and play in here. Uh, it goes through the, the normal approval process, and you can go ahead and say, hey, let's play and do another five minute run here. Um, in addition to that, they also have the Dungeon Worlds, which goes right in here. You just have to click on it, go through the approval process. The one thing I don't quite understand is why they, they have the new version for Dungeon Worlds and the old version for Dungeon Masters, but that's a whole other question. Probably they just haven't had a chance to convert it yet. Um, but you can go ahead in here to Dungeon Worlds and go ahead and click on and do whatever you need to do with, with your items here and go ahead and play with that. So it's, it's easy and it's convenient uh, to quickly jump through the two. This, if you're not familiar with Dungeon Worlds, will be a lot bigger, a lot better here sh shortly. It's still in the very early stages. And then the last tab you have here is their, the swap. Basically, it gives you a chance, an easy access swap between uh, some different blockchains that are out there. And I'm just doing random ones here. So just to show you, you can go through EOS to Hub uh, or however you want to go ahead and uh, do any swaps there. So it's another DeFi type of uh, option that you have out there for the, the swapping side of it. You can even go uh, within Wax and go ahead and select different Wax items as a TLM. And I want to do 100 Wax and it automatically converts and go through a swap. It does show the slippage. It's again, just another option. The, and again, the only problem with this is I can't connect my Wax wallet to it or Wax cloud wallet to it. Uh, so it doesn't really uh, work for me. But if you have Anchor or you have EOS wallet or any other type of wallet, um, it's a nice, uh, easy exchange there for you. Those, that, that's really what the desktop app is. It just gives you another option um, if you prefer this down the road. Once the, the playground is available in here, I think it's going to be a very nice convenient way because you can go ahead and click between the playgrounds and it'll take you directly to uh, the applications. You can go ahead and use the Explorer, check out maybe possibly new projects that you want to take a look at. Uh, or you can go through Dungeon Master, Dungeon Worlds, just very easy access that, that's available to you. Uh, I, if, if you're into WAM play or if you're into any of the Dungeon Masters or Dungeon Worlds, uh, definitely check it out. Um, please understand that it's still very, very early in the release. 
So there's going to be issues. We've already seen uh, the issue here where the, the playground's not available, but they're going to continue to develop it. I know they're working very hard on it. It actually looks a whole lot better now than it did when they started the, the closed beta that it, they let the VIPs into uh, to go ahead and test it out. So they're, they're making a lot of progress on it. Uh, and I think it's going to be pretty fun when, once this is available. I'm curious to see what that's going to look like. Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, do you have any questions about this? Also, are you playing Wamplay? Let me know what your favorite game on Wamplay is. Uh, I'm curious because uh, obviously I, I want to try some new games out. So I'm curious to see what your favorite games are. And I hope you all have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.